Um, the mathematical sophistication of, of our civilization um, in, in, in every aspect of life is kind of permeating, is in front of us, with us, and we experience this daily when we, when we work with tools which are all have an underlying mathematics and, and uh, when we model, when we render, when we, when we visualize everything, uh, mathematical operations, of where that's the spline geometries, where we, where we're relying, we're just pushing and moving points, and the interpolation is a mathematical function which generates the elegant pulsating curves we want to generate. And the same would work with the whole surface. So there's always a mathematical driver uh, behind our creative moves, and that's where we're very much aware of. Both myself and Zaha did study mathematics, and uh, but I think the real learning in mathematics came through our work because if, you, if I reflect back, uh, the way mathematics was taught at the time I was studying it was uh, unfortunately not so um, application focused. It was a pure abstract calculus going from axioms to theorems and, and various proofs without a sense of its technological utilization, empowerment of the problems which in the end these calculi are meant to solve. <laughs> so looking back it was incredibly dry and I actually shifted out of mathematics in, into, into architecture. And looking at the, the gallery and the curators take on making the uh, mathematical tools tangible through the application and, and uh, is, is, is actually a wonderful didactic um, project which allowed us to also bring our mathematical virtuosity into play when it came to the, the all the various display elements but also smaller cabinet elements, the overall arrangement of the cabinets and, and trajectories as well as for instance the benches uh, which we had to play. So everything which had to be there became transmuted into a mathematical project or mathematics inspired projects. For instance, the benches are not just on any bench we would have uh, picked from a catalog, but we generated them with um, ruled surfaces where we run in, where we working with robotic hot wire cutting, which is super efficient and fast compared to milling. So it's a new technology. But it also imposes a particular mathematics, the mathematics of ruled surfaces, which, which is a wonderful, um, uh, elegant uh, uh, mathematical descriptions of complex geometries, which is also a topic in the, in, the, in the gallery itself. So the benches become part of a demonstration. For instance, that was the spirit in which we picked up on the themes and, and clues from the curators and allowed everything to become part of that story. Um, since we are users of mathematics and we're using it with our geometries, we wanted to show that. And we had a number of items and elements, of course, which were to be put on display. And I think it's a wonderful way of showing mathematics very much through its applications uh, in technology, in, in, aero, in, in, in flight in computation. So one of the key uh, aspects here was to make tangible the beauty and sophistication of an empowerment of mathematics. And uh, the, one of the key elements in the, in the exhibition is that aircraft and what we looked at is the, the airflow simulations which one usually would get uh, aerodynamic flow simulations generating kind of turbulent field and that's something which we're displaying around the, uh, the aircraft but the whole space has become a vector flow field uh, a fluid space with the pulsating rhythm so we like to do um, a kind of Gesamtkunstwerk an overall curate experience and there's been a number of algorithms and, and fluid dynamic uh, simulations which generated not only the flow, the turbulence around the aircraft, but the overall flow of the gallery items. Yeah, I mean, we are very happy and proud to 
contribute to this kind of exhibition design. I mean, we've created exhibition designs for our own displays of our work, which had historical sequences, which had themes, which had, which had graphics, text, and models. So, so we are experienced exhibition designers, but it's the first truly public, permanent exhibition for, for, for an, an intellectually ambitious topic like mathematics.